Hello and welcome back to Evolve Models with me Chris. The mailman has arrived and he's brought us some goodies. Um, as we can see here we have some AK metal burnishing fluid which means only one thing we have some tracks to burnish, um, build and burnish even. So ordered from Czechoslovakia from Fuel Model we've got the ATL16 King Tiger 2 pointing tiger tracks. Not opened these up yet so I'm um, interested to have a look at how many millions of pieces are inside. I appreciate it's probably not going to be a two minute thing to put these together. I have built similar ones before. Uh, though it is quite time consuming. They do look rather good, don't they? And I've treated myself to some metal burnishing fluid as well. So first up, what I'm going to do, I'll have a look inside. So, some destructions. Looks like we've got two bags and some wire. I'll just move the burnishing fluid out of the way for the time being. So what have we got on here? Just the instructions and the metal pieces. So if we have a look at, if I can find it, doo -doo 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 -doo, well I can't find them to hand, they are two piece sort of track links here. So we've got the larger piece and the piece that goes in, in the middle of uh, in the middle of them to, uh, to build the tracks. There's a load in here, so what we'll do is We'll get one of the or two of these out. One, two. And we'll get this piece that goes in the middle. We'll get a couple of these as well. Two of them as well. And essentially what happens is that these go together like so, I believe. And there we go. They go in there like that. And then the next track will go in there like so. Ooh. So essentially what I'm going to do is, is drill all the way through some of these pieces here, all the way out to the other end, and put some wire through which is supplied here. So I'm going to get that ready and set up and then we can have a go and see how we do and see how many times we swear. So I set up a little bit of a production line here. We've got these little pieces here that go in between the main tracks. I've gone over them all with the sandpaper and just taken off any of the flash off the edges. And now it's time we need to get them together. So here's a test piece that I've done. And this is what they're supposed to look like. And the process that I'm using to do it is I'm taking one of these. I'm putting them together like that. I have the 0.5mm drill bit, which is the same diameter of the wire, and I'm drilling all the way down. Let's see that? Drilling all the way through. Well, not all the way through, sorry. I'm drilling, and it's not come out the end. So there's, I've spaced the drill bit so it goes that far and that's as far as I want to go. And then after that we've got the wire. It goes in. Which this one I've cut to length already. And he sits in there. And there's one done. So if we go on and do the next one. So same process. Sort of push them together, hold them together. Not a little bit fiddly. Drill down. Not too hard, it's only soft metal. Is that? And take a pin. Ooh. And put the pin in. And there we go, and we have workable tracks. So I'm going to go on now and get some more of these done, and hopefully we'll be ready to start making a bit more movement on this tank.
So I've been working about half an hour now and we've got this far with this section which I didn't think was too bad actually. Uh, we've got the drive wheel from the kit itself and wrap it round and it's a nice fit. It's looking good that is. They're going to look absolutely smashing on the uh, on the tank. They're absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to put some good music on and I'm going to get stuck down with the rest of these now and get them all ready. So after much time and my fingers are now basically bleeding from the amount of uh, pins I've had to shove through all these uh, tracks. We've actually got there in the end and I have two sets of tracks. We've got the ones that are on here which I've sort of got about the right length now and we have these as well for the other side and again I put them on, measured it and it, the sag and everything looks good and here we have the met metal tracks. So what I'm going to do is now is I'm just going to tidy up some of the pins and then we're going to start looking at doing some burnishing. For the burnishing um, I'm going to be using the AK metal burnishing fluid but before we get onto that let me just do a last final tidy up of these and then we can go through the whole burnishing process which I've never done before and see what we get. So now it's time we need to look at some of the burnishing and this burnishing fluid. It's AK's metal burnishing fluid AK159. Longer than the short of it is, put into a plastic container, avoid uh, unintended reactions with other containers should see it starting to act around about 30 seconds if undiluted so let's have a go so I'm going to take this one here let's see we'll put him out of the way for a second and then wrap him up he's going in there and I wonder if we will actually see so within 30 seconds they reckon Gonna get some paper to the side of me here to take it out. Put that there ready. And after 30 seconds or so, it is looking like it's doing its job. A little bit on the top there. I might just need to put this extra little bit in. That's about four minutes, so I'm going to take it out, I think. Nice. Let them dry on there. Let's see if we can flip them open so you can see. And that's what they're looking like there. So I'm going to do the other set now. Probably going to need a little bit longer for this one because the liquid would have been activated. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Okay, five minutes and counting. Let's have another look. Yeah, they're the same now. It's so around about four minutes, three and a half, four minutes. Let's put him there and take these out. What I'm going to do is, is I'm going to leave these to dry off and then we can come back, unravel them and see what we've got. So for now, we'll wait for them to dry. The tractor and the fluid for around about four to five minutes each. They've come out quite nice. There's still some areas inside here that are showing as metal, but we should be able to get away with that with some weathering. The rest of them all come up nice and looking uh, black and worn. Um, I don't know if it's better than painting. Uh, I'm not, not too sure. Each to their own, I think, for this. Um, this is the other track as well. Again, there's some bits in the middle that don't seem to have been affected, but the actual tracks that touch the ground are and the back looks nice nice as well I 
dip them in the fluid, then I clean them all off with some water and give them a bit of a scrub really and got them uh, nice and cleaned out because it was leaving all this mark all over my hand but it was it was all really worse than that. But essentially that's it for the tracks now. There's some that go on the top turret section which I'm going to do separately and um, that go around the outside as uh, the spares. But for the tracks that is all for now. Thanks for joining me on Evolve Models and I will see you again soon.